it's boiling hot from my kitchen the atmosphere it's amazing i'm disturbing the whole neighborhood with the fragrance that is coming out of the shitter my name is yanoki thank you so much for joining me beautiful people so i have aluminum foil i've lined them up in my tray I was busy on this day doing so many things so i didn't have you know so much time at my disposal so i'm like okay you know what why not put um my ingredients in my oven okay use the grill part of the oven to start doing this work for me while like you know attend to other things and that is what brought about this recipe i have this assaulted pepper okay that i'm adding to the onions this recipe is different okay so do watch stay tuned and get to know more about it next i added in some onions um sorry cloves of garlic and then i am um, being generous with the oil i was just trying this out i'm just i'm being generous with the oil because i need a lot of oil for this sauce as well and to activate the sweetness in this i added a bit of salt and then i slided this into my oven while i attended to other things so after some time i just opened and stirred it you know i, I just like what is happening here the way they are a bit charred i like that it this was um under medium to high heat okay so i've just turning so that the the bottom part can also be done alternatively i was using the grill part i could have just swapped it and then used the bottom part but this worked as well okay as long as it worked that was it so yes after about 30 minutes i'm going to enter this into um empty all of this into my blender together with all the juices that came out of it and all the oil that i added just to move the blades of this blender besides i need a lot of oil apart from that this these veggies are they've, they've, they've softened up okay being in the in the in the oven they softened up nicely and the oil in there had added some nice flavor the the char you see the, the, the some of the veggies have charred a bit okay ideally i would have added my ginger to it but i had some leftover chicken that i wanted to do something with it so i didn't add the ginger at this stage so keep watching and see how this goes so i'll just go ahead and then blend this until it is nice and smooth into my work goes in some vegetable oil and then i will infuse this oil nicely with some cinnamon sticks some bay leaves and some star anise okay this is is this just for the flavor i just want this to release i want the spices to release their beautiful flavors in this oil and once that is done the work will be done now let's come to the ginger okay i've chopped up my ginger nicely and i'm also going to fry that in the oil that is going to add flavor but the reason why i kept the ginger was for this leftover chicken that i didn't want to go waste okay it was leftover grilled chicken and so i'm like you know what i'm adding this to the sheet so so i'm going to fry it together with the ginger yeah so the ginger would infuse its nice um fragrance and spices not just in the oil but in the chicken as well so i'm going to fry this until it is dry it has to be nice and dry we don't want any moisture in this as at all so when you see it floating like this okay all the ingredients floating on the surface like this it's just an indication that you are almost there or it is nice and done you can you can pick one every now and then and then just bite into it if you feel comfortable if you feel it's crunchy enough and you don't um you know feel any sort of juicy fullness from it then that would be great at this point i'm very well convinced as you can see everything is floating on the oil as i mentioned and i'll take this out and blend excluding the spices i added in the beginning i'm not going to blend the cinnamon the bay leaf and the star anise those i'm going to discard they've done their job okay but then i'll blend the chicken and the ginger to the oil i'll add in all the veggies that we blended from our oven
I'll then go ahead and stir this from time to time until all the liquid in this evaporates. Now, for my blender too, I am not washing it with any water. I am trying to get oil, more oil into it to clean everything from the blender. Okay, we don't want any liquid. When it comes to this sauce, we don't want any liquid in it because we are going to store it on our shelf. So the more we add water, it means that our cooking time is going to be long, okay? Uh -huh. So as much as possible, we we avoid water, yeah. So I covered it a bit because it was splattering, okay? Then at this point, I just let it be. After after it stops splattering, I just let it be. And then I stay from time to time without covering. Because when you cover to the heat creates vapor on top of the saucepan. And then the vapor enters back into the sauce as liquid, okay? So once it stops splattering, just get rid of the cover and then stay from time to time. And you see, I'm not adding tomato paste to this recipe. I was just tearing from time to time until I got this color. This was inspired by a popular Ghanaian green sauce. There was this time that I was making green sauce. I'm like, okay, green sauce tastes nice. How about adding, you know, a sheet of ingredients, the herring and then um, the shrimp powder to it. And, and that was it. it. It tastes so good. See, sometimes tomato is so expensive. It's out of season, you know. I, not just that. This this is good and you can see the peppers i used from the beginning i think i didn't make justice when i was talking about it it had the scotch bonnet pepper the fresh ones and it had all the colors yellow scotch bonnet pepper which tastes good it smells good it is spicy the green one you know and the red one so at this point I, I'm, I'm throwing in some um, seasoning cube my turmeric and 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 ginger powder that i made at home and i'm also grating some nutmeg ha. nutmeg in your shit up don't miss it it takes it to another level so i'm grating it into that and i'm stirring from time to time at this point you may even think that you have your meat in the no this is all colors coming from just you know the scotch bonnet pepper and the onions and it's smelling good and i'm stirring from time to time under medium heat because i don't want this to burn so even though the color of this has changed it still tastes good it does not have any bitter taste from any burning thing okay so i'm adding half a cup of shrimp powder and then i'll add one and a half cup of um herrings okay the herring powder the herring powder should always be more than the shrimp powder if the shrimp powder is more than the herring powder your, your shito is not going to turn out well okay so this is the point where i'm adding the one and a half cup of herring powder i'll go ahead and stir this and see <laughs> this shito was nice this shito it was so nice it didn't last not not in terms of it didn't last that it wasn't prepared well though. like within within <laughs> A couple of weeks it was gone and you know when you make shito you can make it for for it to stay you know as for as long as a year right so this is the blended ginger and chicken leftover that i used from the beginning the great thing is that if you don't have chicken you know if, if you're not going to do this thing that i did like the process that i went through you don't have to fry the ginger and the chicken in the oil you can just add the ginger to your pepper in the oven for everything to you know you know do its work in the oven and then you blend and then continue the process okay i only added the ginger to the oil because of that leftover chicken that i wanted to make use of so i'll just go ahead again right now under low heat because this is done everything is ready once the dry ingredients enter in there everything is ready and we really enjoy this <laughs> i can't even stress on that enough <laughs> <laughs> it was so nice and what you have to do is to store in a clean dry airtight container you have this oil on top of it that is going to preserve it and last thank you for watching <laughs> i love you